What's up, everybody? Doc Doc 1985. There's levels to this. All right, real quick. If you're having issues with your headset, you're getting that static sound when you connect it to your Xbox Series X controller. The solution is simple. You have to plug it in wired. That's it. That's what I did. That's what worked for me. I try to do that, put the volume up in the mixer and all that other stuff. It didn't work. I still got that static problem. So if you're still having that, is that you're having a bad connection between the controller and the Xbox and you have to plug it in wired. That's what I did and it works perfectly fine. All right. So 30 seconds in, I gave you the answer. There you go. You're welcome. I know sometimes when I watch these videos on how to fix something, it's like a 10 minute video for a five second solution and it, it annoys me to all in. So I gave you the solution first. If you're still here, that means you want to hear me rant, which I'm about to do. I'm going to satisfy you if that's what you came for. All right. So I wish I could title this video something clever, but I can't because I want people to have this issue to actually get it figured out. <clears throat> so let me tell you how I figured this out. I posted a video yesterday about how my Xbox Series X, when you plug it in, the headset was giving me like static every once in a while, right? And it gets pretty annoying, especially when you're playing something like Gears of War. So I just finished Gears of War 3. And if you've played any of the Gears of War, they're very action-packed, a lot of gun sound and everything. And I'm telling you right now, if you, if you play with a headset, you're going to enjoy the game 100 times more. I promise you. But anyways, I'm playing the game. I'm getting the static sound. And it really caught me off guard because I've had my Xbox Series X for a while now. And I didn't have this problem before. Now, when I was staying at the hotel, it was pretty interesting because I was literally the edge of the bed and the TV were probably like two, three feet away. So I was playing like a 32 inch TV, like three feet away, if that, right? Like there's the bed was right there. So I was playing and it was perfectly fine, nothing, nothing wrong. When I first moved into my place right now, my TV was over on this wall over here and the Xbox Series X was a little bit right next to the tv but my chair was a lot closer again like maybe three feet now that i got my my spot set up the way i want it for now i'm probably about six feet away from my tv but it's a 500 hundred dollar console that shouldn't that shouldn't matter i should be able to control this thing from 10 feet away but regardless this is how i found out if you go on the forums or you go online, you'll see a lot of people say that to fix this issue, you can go to the volume mixer and play with it. Like put the volume all the way up on the headset and then change the settings in game if it's too loud or whatever and do all types of stuff. For me, I did all that. None of it worked. Okay. What worked for me is literally unplugging it and plugging it back in. So literally after 15 minutes of gameplay, I would have to unplug the headset, plug the headset back in. It gets really annoying. Now I have a sound bar with my TV, so I could have just played it without this, without the headset. But I'm telling you, it's not the same. So, anyways, so I'm playing, and finally it gets really, really bad, and I'm in the middle of a firefight. So I don't feel like disconnecting the controller, but it just sounds crazy staticky. So it's really annoying me. So I went ahead, paused it, went into the volume mixer, and because I caught it at the right time, like it was the static was really, really bad. I noticed that whenever I moved the controller to move the volume mixer there was a delay so that's how i figured okay so there's a problem with the connection there's not a hardware problem with a jack or anything i know there's not because when i connected my other controllers to it uh being bluetooth it did the exact same thing so again i would move to change the volume mixer and there was a lag so i said okay i know how to reduce lags if you put anything wired, the lag is going to go away. I went ahead, plugged in, got my Xbox Elite controller out of my backpack, and it came with a cord, right, with a, with a Type-C cord. Grabbed it, plugged it into the Xbox, plugged it into my Xbox Series X controller, plugged in the headset, and as soon as I plugged in the headset, I didn't hear any static. Usually when I plug in the headset, I hear static as soon as I plug it in, like... This time I didn't hear anything. I didn't get too excited. I went ahead and I played some Gears of War. I'm playing Judgment right now. Played some Gears of War. I played for about 30 minutes straight just to make sure. And sure enough, no static, no problem with the sound. Everything was perfect. You would think I'd be happy. Now here's the truth. For me, I'm cool 
playing with a wired controller. Like that that doesn't really bother me. It's annoying, but it doesn't really bother me because when I play on PC, I connect my Elite controller wired as well. I don't play with Bluetooth on PC because if I'm most of the games I'm playing are like competitive games like Apex or I'll play a little bit of Fortnite. And even when I'm playing stuff like Grand Theft Auto or whatever, I'm just used to connecting it via the the wired. So I, I it's not a problem to me. But really, Microsoft, really a five hundred dollar machine. And the Bluetooth connection or whatever type of connection this thing has is is weak. Now, I don't know if you could update this with a, firm, a firmware. I, I, I don't know. Or what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to have my Xbox two feet away from me? $500 for the most powerful console. And we got Bluetooth issues with the controller. Yo, this is this is this is not a good look. We don't got no new games. Third party plats run better on PS5 for the most part. Bluetooth connection messed up. Call of Duty Cold War will brick the system. Oh, it's bricking PS5s now too, apparently, which is ridiculous. Thank you. God, thank God Game Pass still makes sense. Doc Dog 185, yo, there's levels to this. If you didn't know, I'm an Xbox and Microsoft fan. You probably think I'm not by now, but I promise you I am. And I am happy with my Xbox Series X. I really am. But wired controller in 2020? I guess Doc Dog 185 is levels to this. We out. Peace.